Hello, and welcome back to my channel, Mint with Mare. Okay, my beautiful viewers, how are you all? I hope you all are doing well. I have been very sick. My child has been sick, so I haven't been able to do these videos, and it's been a real big bummer. But I thought I would take a quick break from the James Augustine Betty saga I posted that I'm going to be doing a version of Betty from a queer lens and a version of Betty from a straight lens. I just think that it makes them very different. So that is coming. But I have been loving the shots that have been fired and all of these musical artists that are just doing and saying whatever they want, especially female artists. One of the people that I want to do today is Flowers by Miley Cyrus, and I'm going to do a few other ones. This came highly recommended to me by my friends because Miley is a divorced person, like myself, soon to be. It can just be very trying and really challenging about how you see yourself, wondering who are you now in the world. So I'm excited to see this and this will be a real reaction. I have read that this song came out on her ex-husband's birthday, that she's wearing the dress in the beginning that Jennifer Lawrence wore during the premiere of Hunger Games with Liam Hensworth and there's like rumor that they cheated together. I don't know. Who knows? So let's just get right on into it. We were good. We were gold, kind of dream that can't be sold. We were right till we weren't. Built a home and watched it burn. Wait, didn't her house burn down? She had a house in Malibu, and I think with tons of animals, she might have lost some of her animals in the Malibu fires, which is so sad. So, this is. This is about her ex-husband because we built a home and watched it burn. And for people out there like myself that didn't have a house literally burn, it feels like everything you built was burned to the ground and all that you have left is ashes. And so you only have a choice to do one of two things, lay down in those ashes and die in them or rise up like a phoenix from the ashes. So I hope Miley is going to encourage the latter. All right, I'm insane. Yes, you can buy yourself flowers. That's something that I did and I still do every week. Trader Joe's, pick out whatever flowers I want, put them in a vase, put them for myself, sit back and stare. And now I have beautiful friends that send me flowers and give me flowers that I love. And a good friend, Megan Lanou, she's also a celebrity makeup artist. You should totally check her out. I'll link her information below. But she got me these beautiful flowers for the Lunar New Year. And they are called quince, I believe. And at first they just look like sticks, but then they have now blossomed and they're so beautiful and it makes me feel happy. And it's just so nice to feel loved when you're going through a really, really hard time. So thank you, Megan, for those. But back to Miley, you can buy yourself flowers, you can write your own name in the sand, you do yourself for hours, say things you don't understand. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes when you're with somebody for a really long time, you think that they just know what you're talking about, but somehow you can grow so far apart and if they don't even understand anything or understand you anymore, the things that you now like and the things that you now do. Because she was with Liam when she was very young, like a teen, and that's a long, long, long relationship. You change and you evolve. You either evolve together similarly or you don't, and that's okay. Like it's actually totally okay. I can take myself and I can hold my own head. Yeah, I can love me better than you can. This is so good. This is like an anthem. Yes. Yes, for divorced women, for all people who want to love themselves and embrace themselves. I, I'm 
so here for this. Because you can take yourself dancing. You can take yourself dancing in a living room. You can go out and about with friends. Love this. We all need to get to a place where we can love ourselves better than anybody else could love us because we are all that we've got at the end of the day. So it's our responsibility to love ourselves. Okay, keep going. No remorse, no regret. I'll forget everything you said. Wow, that's really good. Oh, somebody said that this was based on Bruno Mars' song, like a reaction. It's a, I, I can hear that song, like if I were your man, I can hear the vibe of it. But wow, this is powerful. Love it. Love it. Ooh, I didn't want to leave, babe. I didn't want to fight. Started to cry, but then remembered I. I can buy myself flowers. you know when it comes to self-care that exercise does wonders i took up muay thai which is a form of boxing man it helped me get through it because you have like rage and all this anger and hurt and you don't want it to just be stuck and stored inside your body you really want to move it and get that energy flowing so i love seeing her working out like that and like showing what a badass she can be so yes Take a shower, adore your body, get comfortable being naked and in your own skin. Love this, Smiley. Yes. I didn't want to leave you. I didn't want to fight. Started to cry, but then remembered I. so good this I know now some of my friends who wanted me to watch this because this is totally my dream like I want to someday make a lot of money have a big beautiful home with an indoor heated pool or outdoor heated pool for sure but just to be going and like dancing like through your house like yes I made it this is mine and it's also that feeling of freedom like I've got myself I don't need anything else I, I love this and I just, I love the dancing through the house like this and the way that she moves her body and she's in a suit and she's free. I'm feeling it. Totally feeling it. so good she is so badass i love it that this is her helicopter she broke into that house or something the helicopter's coming she's just like yep here i am come and get me <laughs> she's she's good i mean just such a good anthem it's so positive for anybody who's gone through a breakup that to know that you can love yourself better than the other person can and you actually should do that regardless if you're with someone or not. You should be loving on yourself, being true to yourself always. Just pointing out that like you can do all, the th all of these things on your own. You don't have to have somebody else there with you and that you can move on, you can heal. It's just beautiful. beautiful. I'm, I'm liking that. I'm liking this a lot. I'm working out and the swimming. It has me hyped. I love it. All right.
Hope you all enjoyed this. More on the Betrayal series, the empowerment series with these songs, like taking your power back after someone that you loved and you cared for might have taken it away from you or made you at least question your power because not all relationships are bad when they end. Maybe the, this relationship ended mutually. It could be really hard to figure out who am I again? What do I like without that person? Can I be happy without them? The answer is yes. And so I want you all to feel empowered and play this music and dance around. I mean, this is, this is awesome. My lovely viewers, you're so awesome. I swear I'll be getting to other videos soon, but sending my love to you all. Bye-bye.